Greetings and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. This month's Patreon board game by Clean Biscuit. Thank you very much, sir, for your continued patronage. And uh, currently we have, well, a, a beautiful view. I love water. I love boats. I love islands. I love all of it. Um, apparently we're in for a bit of a treat when it comes to story. That's a very story-heavy game. Um, and that's all I know. I, I know... I don't know what kind of story even, but what remains of Edith Finch makes me think more along the lines of uh, like a, it's a drama, or it might be a bit sad. Maybe it has some good. What am I doing? What happened just now? Oh, that's pretty. I want those in real life if I could have them. I like flowers. Okay, I love flowers. This is a journal. Edith Finch's journal. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Okay, that's that's good. Start at the beginning. I mean, if it doesn't make any sense, this is how we have it make sense. Correct? Also, where am I? My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. He disappeared? 57 pound kid. Four foot six. 11 years old. When he disappeared. And she was four, did she say? Date of birth, 92. Blue eyes. All right, hair black. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Right. All right. So, I'm guessing we're technically trespassing? I love it already. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay. Is that the house there? That's a gigantic house. Also weird. Um, unsafe, I'd say. And we just stack a whole bunch of structures on top of each other. And call it a home. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Apparently not so urgent. How will that go? There we go. Remarkably good shape, despite being in a mailbox. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Hold on, they held a film funeral? Did you never find the body? Did people really do that? I've never known that to be the case. But then again, I never really looked into it. I don't go to funerals either. I don't know what that makes me. Does that make me bad? I have no idea. Um, I love it that the words are part of the... <laughs> they are a part of the... Game. No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Or persecuted. In her will, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Right. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The finches. The finches, as in the bird finches. Am I supposed to go down this way? It seems like a way that I can go down. I don't know if I should go down. Just because I can go down, do you go down that way? Or do I continue? And, nah, I gotta go check. I have to. It's a little narrow pathway and I have to go check it out. Also, there's a bullfrog around somewhere. I believe that's a mating call. Sorry, buddy. You're not my type. And these flowers look remarkably like the ones that we had at the beginning, or am I wrong about that? I'm not a botanist. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Other than the color. Right? Are the flowers the same? There's gonna be somebody's head hurting from that comment. Completely different vegetation. 
And I think it looks the same. I like flowers. I don't know what they are. I don't know their names. I just know I like looking at them. And smelling them. As long as, well, as well. The truth as long is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. What was I saying? I don't know. It wasn't important. Something about flowers. Oh. Another one of the wanted posters. Have they been out here for seven years? Because that's very resilient paper. Alright. Let's just stick to the main path, I think. I don't the think this is... The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Hmm. It's a wheelbarrow. I forgot what I was saying again. There's gonna be a lot of that. Especially when I'm talking, and all of a sudden she starts talking. I feel like what I have to say is not as important. I feel that way, and I think I'm 100% correct. Also, I feel like there was two paths to take, and they both led to the same place. I am curious, like I'm thinking, maybe I go back that way, but I think that's a it's the house was exactly idea. like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. You mean... A nightmare? That's... That's a structural nightmare. I mean, the main part of the house looks fine, but, you know... That bit up there... Is not... And what is that? Why does it look like something with its mouth open? Because I think it is. I was going to say it was a maybe a kite, but it looks way too heavy to be a kite. Maybe there will be something about it later. I don't know. I'm hoping. I would like some clarification, please. As a child... The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah, same. I'm an adult. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Was you afraid of it, like, coming down on top of you? Because that seems like a legitimate fear. Oh, I love chimes, though. Mmm. Did they go inside? Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. But you're 17 and you can still do it? Okay, well, I just learned something very, very vital about you. The fact is, you're teeny tiny! The power had been turned off the night we left. Right. I don't even think I can get one leg through the doggy door. Hmm. At least they had the decency to uh, take the food with them. There's a lot of stuff left over in here. They just leave all this behind. Garage sales, yard sales, I understand. Sometimes people don't want to sell off things and they have like memories and such but I mean if you never move on from your past then you never have For the a future. first time in years I felt like I was home wait hold on what he was afraid of the house but now you're inside of it, and you feel like you're home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Well, I'm getting some mixed emotions happening here. Terrifying. Don't like the house. Scared of the house. But, you know what? It's familiar, so therefore... It's okay? Okay, 
guess. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. That is a lot of... That is a lot of salmon. Technically good for you. Although I dare say, you have salmon, you have enough salmon, eat it for a few days, and this is what happens. Well, you just get takeout. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Mm, noodles. A little starch to go with my sweetness and sour and my umami. Mm, that is a lot of extra food. You know what? We could just move right back inside. If nobody knows that we're here, we could just, I mean, hermit, man. Hermit. Seems like a wonderful the idea. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. A wreck. See, I heard that wrong. It's like the table was still erect. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I'm liking this dialogue. The writing is actually very nice. I have lots of questions, though. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. When people become too much to handle, you pass them on to somebody else. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. All right, I get you. The, the TV's not even the work. fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The original house that sank is that why they built all the extra pieces into the sky just in case this one sank? <laughs> get to higher ground. Makes sense now. I understand. It was a, um... It was a word that I can't think of. Preemptive! Man, no, that doesn't work. Whatever. And? Oh. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Uh, it would be cute if it wasn't so damned creepy. What is that in the background? Is that supposed to be Bigfoot? Someone just traipsing along with a basket full of goods and you have Bigfoot in the shadows behind you? So, I, I, their, their grandfather made that. He's an interesting fellow. All right, I could go in here. I have a key, right? Is Mom this... always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Damn it. Here I thought I was actually progressing the plot. It's too bad that the lights don't come on, because I, I don't think this is supposed to be a scary game, but the atmosphere is very m much... It's... Oppressive, you know, it could be The lack of lighting or just the lighting from the outside like that, but honestly, I'll tell you what it is for me specifically It's the clutter. There's too much stuff Way too much stuff It makes me feel like everything's closing in on me a lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night Packing peanuts you left packing peanuts you're not mourning for your packing peanuts, are you? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Well, technically, parts of him would be alive. Or at least alive in parts of other things. Right? Is that too morbid? I don't know. Could be. Well, that... I'm gonna say that this door is sealed. Hmm. Oh. I see. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Okay. Peepholes are not in 
entirely uh, good for wholesome family structure. My friend Bigfoot, Barbara Finch. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara Finch. Hold on. Hey, Barbara was a... An actor? Like a kid actor? Interesting. The Spirit Among Us. That's not what I want to read right now. Time in the Gods. Swan's Way. The Book of Sand. Pretty sure it's paper. I sealed up all the doors for sure. Where does this cord go? I feel like it's gonna lead me. Well, Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. <sighs> she doesn't want anybody going anywhere, apparently. But she gives you a key to go back, to go somewhere inside of the place that you're not supposed to go anywhere in. That's a creepy looking face. It's like a normal looking face, and so therefore creepy. That's, however, not a normal looking face. It's also creepy. You know what? I find humans just creepy. Every single one of you. <laughs> Including myself. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Why? It's kind of awesome in here. Look at the murals. Like, holy, holy hell, man. I'd like this. It's actually comforting. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Does the key fit this? May as well try. Hey! But why a key to a book? Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Man, all right. It's a good thing you can fit through the dog door. That must have been a breeze. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Huh? I... I am quite enjoying this. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Is this, does this have some magical factor to it? Other than the fact that, you know, the building is still standing in the way that it is. Other than that massive, like, I don't know, spine of the building that seems to grow towards the heavens. The fact that that's still standing, which I think is magic. Is there any other magic to this? Because it seems strongly insinuated, or at least imagination. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. Mm -hmm. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Hold on, am I a little girl now? That should always have context, I think. My Halloween candy was all gone. Well, that's good, because if you're really, really hungry, why are you going to have candy? That's just going to make you more hungry. Blood sugar goes up, blood sugar goes down. Hmm. Let's look what's in here then. 
The gerbil food. We're not going to eat that, though, are we? We're not that hungry. Also, there's a roll of toilet paper. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Are you really that hungry? Not after one night. That seems like the behavior of somebody who's been sent to bed without food a lot of nights. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. And you get locked in your room. It seems a little wrong, doesn't it? What's this then? I mean, I, I don't have any kids to be able to tell other people how to raise their kids, but this seems morally wrong. Objectionable. I kept eating and eating. I'm pretty sure that this is a bad idea. Well, we're, we're going to avoid the toilet just because I am afraid now. I ate a lot of things that night. Um... <sighs> then I heard chirping outside my window. And you're like, hey, that looks like real food. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! What? A cat with a bell. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Yep. This is what happens when you don't eat for a long period of time. You eat everything that you can maybe chew up and then you, you hallucinate like mad. I understand. I've never been there. Um, where am I supposed to go here? Up here? Come here. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Well, they were deep in adult conversations. Which is to say, meaningless conversations to a kid. Um. Man, we got... We got some cat-like reflexes. And that bird has bird-like reflexes. I jumped and I almost got her. And ah. I could tell she was getting really tired. Ah, uh, wouldn't we be getting really tired? Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Yeah, well, this child is frightening. Absolutely terrifying. As all children are. It's a good thing you can probably just leave. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Predator. I 
imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm. Mm. Then I flew mm. off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. This thing's problematic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are we a shark? A shark on land. We have gills. By the time we get down to where we need to go, I we're rolled gonna... off a cliff and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. Okay. Well, I'm gonna follow the bubbles. That looks like a. I wanted fat, juicy seals. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. I like this kid, man. Grabbed on tight. And when I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What are we? Hold on. What is this sound? What is this squelching? Why can't I move? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. I think I went in a circle. I'm not a very good monster. Which is a fact I can be proud of. I think overall, we can all agree that being a good monster is probably an oxymoron. It was big, but I moved real quiet. Most disturbing thing ever. But, however... I know what happened to their brother. I'm thinking she got hungry, you know, and well, that's not. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. 
We eat the drunken sailor. onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I'm pretty sure this is coming out of a toilet, is it? Am I right about that? Or a sink? The good smell came from the bathroom. Mm-mm! I love the smell of what you were eating. I got closer and closer. Wait, are we? No. We're back in our room. Yeah, we're back in our room. That's fine. Now, let's do a little autophagy. Autophagy meaning self-consuming. Just eat yourself, and we'll be done with this weird part of the story. All of my stomach started growling. Yeah. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Ah. Eh. Yeah. All right. Sure. All right. Well. Then. Uh, yeah. Um. That's gonna bring in the. Uh, mm, this is lovely. I'm <laughs> good. This is gonna bring an end to this particular video, and I'm gonna do more of this. Uh. uh <laughs> I'll see everybody again in another video. Thank you.